Hey guys, this is uh, T guys at Inverbal Studio. I've got something slightly different uh, today. You know, I've been making things with uh, 3D models and things, like actually printing them. Well, this is a addition to that. It's a kind of, uh, as you can see, it's animating. <laughs> it's taken me a while to work out how to do it, and I've actually this is actually a conversion of a javascript uh, i think it's 3.js model file and i've just converted it into lua it's very very slow because i found out that if i go any faster than what i've done what i'm showing here it lags down the game plus it uh, doesn't refresh properly like you saw at the start of this and as you can see it sort of uh, get that shearing effect that's because I'm removing everything in the workspace and refreshing it with a new new frame kind of thing. Of course, we can actually go around it, and you might see a few little uh, errors here, like on the back of the neck there. You get a little spike now and again. So, the reason why I'm sort of designing something like this is I'm hoping to be able to animate animals in my cinematic that I'm building the long-term sort of project that I'm doing so I'm thinking about doing an animation like this but instead of uh, let's say in this case a horse I have uh, like a tree growing or something and there'd be different frames kind of thing I'll show you quickly how what the data looks like I don't know how well this is going to show on the screen but whatever here we go as before I'm I've got a bunch of uh, vortices for all the points in the mesh. Then we get faces. This bit is what I've been working out. This is what's been taking the time. The JavaScript file is laid out slightly different to how I've got it here. Let's have a look. Uh, here we go. Yeah, so that's the actual model file itself. It's on. I think it's something called Rome, the actual model file format. And I've been trying to decode this for the past, must be about three, four months. <laughs> and I've finally got there. So this is uh, my interpretation of that file. Just taking all those numbers and just put them into tables. That's basically what it is. So these animation frames is the morph targets in this file and all that does is just list where the vortices are in 3d space and the faces which is down here i'm not too sure what the other numbers are i think there might be uh, the types of face like 10 as you can see here loads of tens to start with all the faces i think that might be some kind of face index then we get the vortex itself and these might be something to do with the shading and how reflected things are that kind of thing i think i don't know that's what it seems like because i've been trying to uh, work out what's what and i finally got there so if i show the 10 do that it may break it and I think it might have done or it might be because I'm recording <laughs> so I think that's just broken no oh there we go yeah so I think that's broken it so that shows that is an actual index thing or well, what type of face it is so I think that 3JS works on my works on uh, sort of boxes rather than vortices like triangles like I'm doing here. Oh well, <laughs> one step closer to actually doing that animation, and I think that's just frozen on me. Lovely. Anyway, this has been Tigaza in Robot Studio, and I catch you guys later. Tigaza, signing out. <laughs>